Hello children. Good morning all. How are you all doing? Hope good and fine. Welcome to math class children. Today we are going to learn about place value and face value. Before starting that children, I think you all remember what was in yesterday's that means previous class yes it was all about what fun with three digit numbers okay children now let us start our class what class place value and face value class okay all are ready with your textbooks Pencil, eraser. Are you all ready? First, let me tell you what we mean by place value of a digit. Let me understand what is the place value of a digit. Well, place value. Place value. It is the value of a digit accordingly to its position or a place in the number, such as ones, tens, hundreds, etc. I repeat, it is the value of the digit accordingly to its position or a place in the number, such as ones, tens, hundreds, etc. Now, let us understand this with the help of a number. Let us take the number 235. We write 235 in a place value chart. Okay? Let us write the number in a place value chart. As number 2 is in hundreds column, 3 is in tens column and 5 is in ones column. Let us look at the place value of each digit as the number as 2 is in hundreds column its place value is 2 into 100 that is 200 next as the number 3 is in tens place or tens column its place value is 3 into 10 that is 30 3 into 10 that is 30 next as the number 5 is in ones column it means that there are 5 ones and so its place value is 5 into 1. That is 5. Okay. Did you understand children? 200 plus 30 plus 5 is equal to 235. Now, let's try to solve one more example. For example, number 3. 30 that is 330 let us place each numbers in its respective column so now the number 3 goes into the hundreds column 3 moves into tens column and number 
zero is in the which column? Ones column. So now the place value of number three is three into hundred. That is three hundred. The place value of three is in tens column. It is three into ten. That is thirty. As the place value of number zero is in ones place, the place value is zero into one. That is zero. Now let us learn what the place value of a digit. Is what is the face value of a digit? Is face value. The face value of a digit in a number is the same as the digit itself. The face value of a digit in a number is the same as the digit itself. Now, let us look at the number 235 again to understand this. As you know, already number 2 is placed in a hundreds column, number 3 in tens column and number 5 in ones column. But the face value of a digit is the same as the digit itself irrespective of where it comes in the place value chart. So the face value of the digit 2 is 2 only. The face value of the digit 3 is Three only and the face value of digit 5 is 5 only. Now, let us solve one more example. Look at the number 890. Look at the number 890. Now, 8 is placed in hundreds column. 9 is placed in tens column and 0 is placed in ones column. Now, what is the face value of each digit here? Yes, 8 face value is 8 itself. The face value of digit 9 is 9 itself. And the face value of digit 0 is 0 only. Wow! Wasn't it easy to understand the place value and face value of a digit children? Yes. Now, let me have a quick revision for that. Right? Quick revision of what? Place value and face value. Now, what is place value? Place value is the value of the digit accordingly to its position or a place in the number such as ones, tens, hundred. I repeat, place value is the value of the digit accordingly to its position in the number such as ones, tens, hundred, etc. Now, what is a face value means? What does a face value means? The face value of a digit in a number 
is the same as the digit itself. I repeat, the face value of a digit in a number is the same as the digit itself. Did you understand children? Hope you all have understood the concept place value and face value. No? Okay. In the next class, we will be revising about ascending and descending order. Till then children, stay home, stay safe, keep reading, keep playing and keep smiling. Thank you children.